High fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether or not you and your person will be given a second chance. So for those of you that are currently in separation or in limbo maybe, or you're just not sure whether you know you will have a you will have an opportunity to explore things again with this person. We'll see what messages the cards predict for the two of you in the future. So sometimes we don't always get it right the first time. This is why second chances can be absolutely important and very special. So I will also, towards the end of the reading, um, I will pull out one card from the Angel Answers just to sort of crown the reading, see if that can give us a time frame or if it can just send us a message of some sort that might be instrumental to this reading. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and begin here. So will you and your special person be given a second chance in life? Will there be a second chance? The Two of Cups. <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, the Lovers card, wow, okay, the Seven of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, I mean, the Two of Cups just flew out as we did this, and the Two of Cups is such a strong energy of coming together, of two star-crossed lovers coming together here. Um, just below, you've also got the Lovers card here, which is a strong indicator of a, romant of a strong romantic energy, okay? So, I mean, this clearly very strong feelings that exist between one and between one another here i feel like the two of you still are in love with one another or you you have fallen in love with this person this person has fallen in love with, with fallen in love with you i can't talk there's strong romantic energy here what happened what happened because i feel like the two of you were such a team and you know there was so you were so compatible and to me you just fit this is what i see like you just this person understood you and you just understood them and you just saw eye to eye on a lot of things or you know even if they did have different like dissimilar interests or passions it just worked you found a way to make it work a very like a dynamic duo but unfortunately i can see that there were some factors here uh, could even be external or internal factors here that kind of influenced the two of you coming apart here which is sad will you be given a second chance with this person yes because I feel like love always finds a way. And I feel like the two of you have such strong feelings for one another that it cannot be ignored. So yes, I do see a second chance, especially with the Two of Cups. I do feel like you will have an opportunity here in the future in which um, you might be able to reignite something here. You might be able to reconcile your differences. You might be able to come back together here, especially with that Two of Cups energy here. I'm also seeing because of the lovers card and the angel here that hovers above Adam and Eve here, I'm seeing that I feel like destiny will bring the two of you back together, fate or destiny here. So, and I feel like a lot of you watching this feel this. You feel like even though it's no it's even sorry, even though it's over, it's not entirely over. Even though the connection here has ended between the two of you, you can still feel them, right? Or you can still visualize and envision the two of you coming back together and you know developing those plans for the future that you always said you will so you feel it and I feel like the cards are only affirming what you feel here now it is complicated because I feel like for some of you there was a third party situation that kind of disrupted the uh, flow of this connection okay maybe your person had even though they had strong feelings for you there might have been someone else like an ex that might have been lingering around them or something else that might have came in between you now for some of you it might not even have been an ex or you know another romantic energy it could have been that this person was just so always focused on work and building a career that they forgot to put in the work in the relationship okay that their relationship and the connection with you just fell to the wayside so a third party situation could be a person it could be an ex it might not even be an ex per se it could be that this person wasn't over you know, the hurt or the disappointment, the emotional disappointment of a previous relationship here. But I can see that there's something here that has sort of come between the two of you. Now, the two of you still care for one another deeply. And I feel like, 
at the end of the day, this person will always have a special place in your heart and you will always have a special place in there. So with the Queen of Cups, I can definitely see that the two of you still have very strong feelings for one another. You still care for one another. And for some of you, even though you're not romantically involved any longer, you still stayed on as friends. I can see that. Or you still very much care for them. And if they picked up the phone and needed your help, you'd be there in a jiffy. I can see that close connection here. Now, I see that someone here is really emotionally scattered. I don't know if this is your energy or if it's this person's energy. And someone here is very emotionally withdrawn, very closed off. Some of you, I feel like you've tried connecting with this person maybe recently or just not too long ago, but you didn't get very far. You didn't get much out of them. I feel like they're going through a few things, okay? And I feel like there's more than one or two things that have their attention right now. Right now, I feel like my advice to you here, given what the energies are, given what the energies here are signaling and what the cards here are hinting at, I feel like right now is not a good time because of their emotions. They run, they're sort of running rampant and all over the place. So even if you do try and reconcile or come back together in this energy, I don't think it's going to work purely because I feel like this person needs to sort a few things out. Or if this is your energy, then you're the one who's going to have to get into a better mind frame to sort yourself out emotionally because. I can see that someone here is keeping to themselves a lot, okay? And I can see that they're trying to process a lot of emotions. Someone here may be going through something, some like changes or some things in life, okay? There may be like a change of career, a change of residence. They just may be going through a bit of an emotional breakdown. They may be going through uh, a midlife crisis. They're going through something and this person is, they're not very good in emotion expressing themselves and they're not very good at sort of, you know, um, sitting there and sitting there and confronting their pain so they're a little bit all over the place a little bit emotionally scattered this is why i feel like if you try and make if you try and come back together in this energy it's not going to go very far because you or they need to sort themselves out i'm also seeing that they actually need some time on their own or you need some time on their own it is true what they say that absence makes the heart grow fonder and i do feel like that someone here needs some time alone to gather their thoughts and their feelings why because they're all over the place i mean yes they still have strong feelings for you but if they don't know what they want then i feel like they owe it to you to be honest right because you don't want to potentially invest your time um, and your energy into a relationship that might not go places that you want it to go so you know they need to organ they need to better organize themselves and their feelings before they can come back to you so that the two of you can head in the same direction because right now i feel like you know it it's all over the place is what i'm seeing and you will know it because i feel like you know this person very well so even if you do reach out this person will respond, but you'll be able to tell by maybe the tone of their voice or the text message or, you know, the words that they string together where they're at emotionally, okay? Whether they're open to exploring this or they're open to reconciling or whether they just need some more time here. So I'm just going to pull out one card just to crown the reading and see what the angel answers have for you here. Improving health. Okay, so this is what I feel like needs to happen, okay? Um... Someone here, I feel like, is having a hard time emotionally. They are. And I don't know if this is because of the breakup, of the disconnection between the two of you, or I don't know if there's a disconnect between their mind and their body. Someone here is having a hard time, either yourself or this person's energy, or maybe you're both mirroring each other because of the two of cups. Because the two of you are so closely, your energies are so closely into intertwined here that I'm getting a little bit confused. Is it you? Is it them? The two of you are very close to one another. I, it also alludes to a possible twin flame connection here. But someone needs to improve their health before they can improve you know the relationship with you so the relationship you build with yourself really sets the tone for any future relationship so someone who needs to build a better relationship with themselves whether emotionally mentally physically spiritually here so either give yourself some space or give this person some space before the two of you try and work on this all right my lovelies and these are your messages so hopefully these have been helpful for at least some, if not all, watching. I want to thank you guys for your time and attention. Greatly appreciated. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking or sharing. I will be sharing with you more Tarot Love messages throughout the week. So do feel free to check those uh, readings out. And for those of you interested in a personalized reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. The email, once again, will be listed below. Bye for now.